how to install a pool sink Wi-Fi controller with an AquaCal heat pump equipped with a dial or a push button display. Installing a pool sink Wi-Fi controller is a simple process that can be completed in less than an hour using a few basic hand tools. First, make sure that your heat pump is pool sink ready. Look for this logo or check the number of buttons on the HP display. If your unit has a single dial or five buttons on the display, you are pool sink ready. If your display has four buttons, the heat pump is not pool sync compatible. Most units can be upgraded to a compatible controller, so check with AquaCal for your options to upgrade. This video is specifically for connecting to models using the dial or push button display. If your unit has a swipe to unlock display, see our video titled How to Install a Pool Sync Wi Fi Controller with an AquaCal heat pump equipped with a swipe to unlock display. Before starting the installation, Verify that there is a good Wi-Fi signal at the pool equipment location by using your cell phone. Make sure you have the correct network and are not picking up one of the neighbor's networks. The pool sink Wi-Fi controller is very powerful, so if you see one or two bars on your phone, then you're good to go. If you're not getting a good Wi-Fi signal, you may need to relocate your router or speak to your internet provider about installing an extender or mesh network. Once the wiring and connection process is complete, you can use the built-in RSSI or signal strength indicator in the PoolSync app to find the ideal mounting location. We recommend waiting until you are Wi-Fi connected before permanently mounting the PoolSync Wi-Fi controller. If you are connecting multiple heat pumps or additional PoolSync ready devices, like a ChlorSync salt chlorine generator, take a moment to view our video, connecting multiple devices to a PoolSync, before proceeding any further. The following should only be attempted by qualified persons that have the knowledge and experience to properly work with and test live electrical circuits. To complete this installation, you will need an electrical test meter, an electric or cordless drill, a 3 16 inch masonry drill bit, a number two Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver with a 1 8 inch tip, a pair of pliers, a pencil, a few tie wraps, and if you have it, a small level. It will be helpful, but it's not absolutely necessary. Turn off power to the heat pump. Remove the cover or panels. And verify that power is off using a voltmeter. Route the pool sink wire through the space next to the plumbing. And then into the heat pump electrical panel. Locate the pool sink or port D terminal on the control board and connect the black wire to B or ground, connect the yellow wire to Y, connect the green wire to G, and connect the red wire to R or power. Make sure the wires are inserted properly and are not shorted. Double check that the connections are properly tightened and the connector is properly aligned and pushed all the way onto the board. Now take a moment to secure the wiring inside the unit with tie wraps as necessary. Replace the cover or panels, and restore power. When the unit is powered, the lights on the pool sink will come on momentarily, and then the top light will turn green and blink slowly. If you've not already downloaded the pool sink app, go ahead and visit the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store to download it now. Open the app and tap on the gear icon. Select Add New Pool Sink, and then follow the on-screen prompts to complete the connection process. The pool sink should automatically find your heat pump. If it doesn't, you may need to close and restart the app, or tap the three dots at the top right corner, and scroll down and tap Discover Attached Equipment. Once connected, you can use the Integrated Signal Strength Indicator to determine the best mounting location for the pool sink. Tap the three dots at the top of the page, and look for the RSSI, or Signal Strength Indicator. Hold the antenna at the desired mounting location while watching the signal strength. The number displayed will update every minute or so, so be patient. Look for a mounting location with a good or excellent signal strength. If your signal is fair or poor, you could experience occasional disconnects or erratic operation, so try to find a better mounting location. To mount the pool sink, make sure the device is level and mark the mounting screw locations. For concrete or stucco, drill 3 16 holes using a masonry bit. Carefully hand tighten the screws, secure any excess wire, 
and you're all set. For more information, check out the installation manual available at aquacal.com or contact AquaCal's customer support department at 800-878-0998.